difference between the outside temperature and the greenhouse temperature. It's 30 degrees in here and it's 7 degrees outside. It is supposed to get down into the negative teens this next week, Fahrenheit. Paige came out and forgot to give water to one of the bunnies. Let's see if we forgot the other one. And she forgot to give water to these bunnies. So I need to give them some hay and give them some water. Hey guys, so it's 16 degrees below zero this morning and rather than sending Paige out to check on the bunnies, I'm coming out to check on the bunnies. Because, because she's a little girl and she doesn't always check things the way she needs to and thank you for the this morning. I'm very, very grateful for them because I could just slip them on. I'm just going to try really hard not to get hay in them. We've had bunnies survive in this kind of weather before, but they had a little bit more wool pulled by their mom. Feels really cold. And I'm worried I'm going to have that baby. Nope, they're alive. I really got to keep out though. They're alive. I don't know if they climb up in the night or just like I give them all this hay and fluff it up. I have to fluff it because I don't fluff it up. If I don't fluff it up, they can't get up and through it. So I've covered them all back up. I'm going to give everybody some warm water and some food. Fill everybody's little nest boxes up. The door of the greenhouse is frozen. I've tried to pry it and poke it. And um, it's moving a little better now. And I'm just going to have to sit here in one degree Fahrenheit weather without my glove on and warm that handle up. So it's one degree outside. it? I can't see it. I'm kind of snow blind. And it's 45 degrees inside. Up there on this side it's reading a little over 30 degrees. Hey guys, so this is one of the interesting parts about being a farmer in the winter. I still paid this hat. This is a rabbit skin hat. And um, I went out and took care of the rabbits once this morning. Uh, some of the bunnies she couldn't get to because they were in the greenhouse and the door had frozen shut. It is. It was one degree Fahrenheit this morning. And so then she went out at about three and gave them more water. They're pretty good on food, but when the weather is this cold, you have to be really careful that you give them water frequently. And some people would say, well, that's not cool. You're having to go out every couple hours and give them water. But the thing is, I could go to the gym for an hour, or I could get up every couple hours and, and go for a little walk out to do my animal chores and pet the bunnies and just check on everybody and also be putting food in the freezer. And so I choose not to spend my money at the gym and instead I just get normal motion throughout the day. 
by way of walking out and doing chores. Sometimes I'll carry a two gallon bucket because it's for the goats. Sometimes it's just little, these work really well because you can poke them through the cage so you don't have to actually open the cage up, which a lot of times the hook on the cage is frozen. So I'm just going to check. Let me check that everybody's okay. And once again, he does need water. In the winter, I only fill it up halfway. If you fill it up more than halfway, it freezes and you can't get more water in. Hi, guys. So these are bunnies that are not terribly well. Um, <laughs> my hat. That is quite the hat. <laughs> I feel a little bit like a mountain man. Okay, and so I need to I need to feed Rabidash. Any of you who have read um, Chronicles of Narnia would remember Rabidash. Make sure he has food. And he's trying to reach this hay here, so I'm going to give him some more hay. And Pagey here, pa whom Paige named, is supposed to be having babies. But, again, she's the one we couldn't get pregnant. The way that really just works well for me is to just breed them when they're almost six months. If they're almost six months, then it's like they're... Their fertility clock has turned on, and they're just good to go, and it, it doesn't scare them. Sorry, let me kick my greenhouse for a minute. Um, the latch is frozen, and I'm a little bit worried that if we get a good wind, it'll blow it open, and then the cats would get in. So, I don't know what the temperature is right now. But at night, it's been negative 16 Fahrenheit. And every time I come outside, I cringe. <clears throat> but you can see just how much snow we have and how furry our critters are looking. So the, the last thing that I check on at night is the mama rabbit. And I'm going to go grab some hay for her. Um, not for her. I'm going to put the hay on top of the babies. I have to do wood. Oh, good job. Okay, so I'll 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 give you a deal. I'll do the wood if you'll go give the mama some more water. And Which take mama? That one? the mama. And take her a little bit of hay. Okay. Enough to put on top of the babies. We do keep our wood that is in the house inside a plastic tub that has quite high sides. So that if there are yellow jackets as far as like yellow jackets and spiders, we haven't ever had a problem with it. They're stunned for a little while after they wake up, so you can kill them, and that's why we keep them in the big Tupperware Rubbermaid thing, is so that they fall into the Rubbermaid, and we can find them rather than being all over our house. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. Can you get out of the frame? Okay, help me. We just don't want to drop it. Okay. Yes, keep you it. You gotta move at least out of the way. Hi, okay, move out of the way. Okay, let's make sure we line them up good so everything fits, okay? Okay. You can't have them falling back. I'm gonna sit here and Okay, remember not to throw them out the camera, okay? Go ahead and fill up the indoor one. I'll fill up this one. See? Who needs a gym?